Should be a quick video, but we'll see. Told you lot already. I told you lot already, fam. The biggest threat to a black man is not a white man, you know. The biggest threat to a black man is not the government, you know. The biggest threat to a black man is another black man. Whether it's a black man in a uniform or a black man in a tracksuit, blood. The biggest threat to a black man, unfortunately, is another black man. If a black brother gets licked down tomorrow, fam, more than likely, the person who kills him is going to be of melanated skin, blood. Unfortunately. A man got killed by the police last week in America. Black brother got killed by five black police officers and that. Now, I don't know the technicalities of the situation and that. I'm just going to assume that, you know, he was murdered by five black police officers and he was innocent. You get me? He didn't do anything to uh, deserve to get killed and that. I'm just going to assume that. I see a couple videos and that. I'm not going to get into the technicalities of it. But the reason why I'm making this video, I don't want people to feel like they're a victim. There's certain people, they'll watch a black man get killed by the police in America by other black police officers and that and feel like they're a victim. This is why their life is shit and that. I don't want people in the UK, so this one, I said this plenty of times and it pisses me off. Man will get murdered in America by American police, but people them over here in the UK feel like they need to protest about things that's going on in that country over there, fam. When when was the last time you heard the police? When was the first time you heard that the police killed someone in England and the people them in America protested and rioted for something that happened in the UK? Blood, they don't give a fuck about us, blood. Mark Duggan got shot in the UK. I didn't hear nobody in America protesting about it. Maybe there was a tiny little bit of coverage on one of them dead ABC, one, two, three news channels and that they ain't got nothing to talk about and that. Maybe there was a tiny, probably not, a little bit of coverage over there in America. For the most part, no one in America even knew about that story, bro. But a man will get killed in America, few people will get killed in America, and everyone in the UK knows about it, and people in the UK are protesting and writing about things that has gone in, in a different fucking country, bro. So this video ain't got nothing to do with a yeah, man getting murdered in America. Bro, you need to focus on what's going on in your life, innit? This is the reason why us black people and people in general are in a rut. Because we're focusing on what's going on in the outside world, what our neighbours are doing, what our siblings are doing, what our extended family are doing. Bro, you need to focus on yourself, bro. Why do you think I'm so focused, fam? If you ever think to yourself, why is Jay so focused? Like, why is he so far ahead? Why is he further ahead than the average man walking down the street? I focus on myself. I'm self-centred, blood. That's the way you need to be, blood. You channel your energies into the right place, blood. You think I'm going to go to Hyde Park and protest about what happened to George Floyd or whatever in it. No, I'm focusing and putting my energies into my fucking self, blood. I meet people and they talk about, oh, this area is a shithole, this area is a shithole and that. And I'm thinking, blood, your yard is a shithole, fam. What are you talking about the surrounding outside perimeters? Let's work on what's going on in our perimeter where we got control under, got control over, about that this area is a shithole. Blood, your yard is a shithole, fam. Let's, let's focus on cleaning up our yard first. Then we can talk about the surrounding perimeter, the surrounding area being a shithole, blood. Black people want to run around and talk about reparations and trying to fix the, trying to tell the police how to handle black people instead of let's fix ourselves. Let's correct our dumb behavior and that. Yalim talking about, oh, black men are waste, man. Black men are good for nothing. And Bro, you're, you, yeah, you're good for nothing. You got all four or five baby dads and that. Three baby dads and that. That don't really sound too good to me, you know, dog. Sister. Oh, these men are, are no good. These men are shit in that. Blood, you're laying down with men that are shit, blood. If a woman gets pregnant by a waste man, it is the woman's fault, not the man's fault. Because waste men are always going to exist. It's down to the women to filter them out, blood. Burglars are always going to exist. 
it's down to me to lock my fucking door. I'm not gonna go out and campaign and put up placard signs and talk about, oh, you know, we need to educate burglars and people who are committing crimes to stop doing crap. No, I'm gonna lock my fucking yard, blood. We don't need to teach the police to how to handle black people. We need to teach black people how to behave them Ross Clark self. But this is how you do not fix problems. Yeah, when you start going around trying to fix other people's problems, trying to uh, not address the direct the, the 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 person that needs to be addressed, that's why problems exist. Black people feel like, oh, you know, if we get reparations and that, it's going to solve all the problems in the black community. No, it fucking won't. No, it fucking won't. What's the point? <laughs> all right, so cool. Let, let's say, for example, we get reparations and that they give all black people fifty grand and that. You think that's going to solve the black community? You think, that, you think that's going to fix the problems in the black community? You think that's going to help the black community? Blood. That money there, that 50 grand, is going to go straight back to the white man. You know why? Because it's going to go on Balmain, Balenciaga and Gucci. Hermes. You think you think getting money is going to solve it? Listen, we need reparations to our Ross Clark brains, blood. So, this video ain't got nothing to do with the man getting killed in America. I just don't want people to feel like they're a fucking victim, blood. You're not a victim. There's no enemy within the enemy outside can do us no harm. Fix yourself. If every black person said, you know what? Forget about trying to fix my neighbor, fix my cousin, fix this person, fix that person. You know what? I'm going to fix myself, blood. Problem solved. 90% of the black community, problem solved. And then the black people that have fixed themselves, have cured themselves, they can all mash and muddle together and help the people them that really need the help that you know, they ain't got a brain. You understand what I'm trying to say? The problem is everyone's running around trying to fix other people when they take their eyes off the fucking ball when they're the one that's the problem, blood. Do you think there will be all this gun crime and that if every black person said, you know what, yeah, I'm just going to work on myself. I'm going to become the best version of myself. I'm going to work hard, save up money, buy a property in a nice, safe neighbourhood. Do you think there will be all this gun crime and that? you think children will come home, come from homes that are you know like bad home broken homes and i know no i'm not saying it's because someone owns a property and that uh you know they saved that money and that they made sacrifice and that they you know it, it's just gonna automatically stop them from coming from a broken home and that but blood i'm telling you there's a, there's a lot that goes into buying a property and that you you think a certain way you don't go out there and do crime you, you make rational decisions and that blood The problem is our soul. The problem is not the fucking police. You are always going to have police that do some madness and kill people and that. Anyway, man, that's, that's the video for today. Let's see how long it was. What, seven minutes? Yeah, quite a short video, ain't it? Stay wise. Done, man.